Hello, and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today, we will be looking at the Undo Manager, which is one of the most magical things that I just found out about and felt like I should share because I felt like it was not something that you easily came across. So basically, this is the example that I came up uh, that I came up with. Um, it's right here in front of me. Um, currently, in this uh, J text area, I typed "Hi there." Uh, this is a test. And so if you right click it, it will give you the option to undo um, the previous edit in the document or redo. But since uh, I've not un undid anything yet, I set it so it's not going to give me the option to redo it. Um, so if I click undo, it's going to remove the T or re then remove the S and then remove the E because those are the last edits. And if I redo, um, it's going to add all of those back. So it's incredibly useful and you can ha set it so that I can you know, put on a timer. So basically, if you put in a string of, of uh, characters within a five second time frame, it's going to remove all of those if you just do control Z or something. So basically, uh, this is the coding that made it work. Um, just to let you know that I actually just put everything in one document for the convenience of source code. Um, so I don't need to attach multiple, you know, uh, Java files, source codes online. Um, so this is not the convenient way to do it, but it's best to just kind of show it off in one single document. So don't, don't criticize me for that. Um, so first off, I have a JTEXT area, it's called it area one or something. Um, and I have a few J menu items that I called, uh, redo edit and undo edit and a, a J scroll pane because um, it's J text area and you might get some overflow and an undo manager. Um, so this is the magical little manager that we have that I, we're going to be using. So basically, um, I add an, an undoable edit listener to the, um, J text area and had it so that every single time that it figures that there is a change in the um, text area, it's going to add the edit, that particular edit, like that save state to the, um, edit manager thing. Um, and then like just archive it <clears throat> that, uh, you can actually call on this edit manager anywhere else too. So, which is really convenient. So basically, um, I added a basic, um, J pop-up menu. Um, I have a whole other video on this. I'll link the whole the pop-up video if you don't um, know specifically how this works. So one of the functions that the undo manager has is it can figure out whether or not it is able to physically able to redo and or undo um, the work that it has archived. And so it just kind of returns a basic true or false. Um, and so if it can redo, then I'm having it so that it can set it enabled to true of uh, the redo button to true else it would just do it to false and the same thing for the undo button and just and then basically just add the undo and redo j menu buttons to the j pop-up menu that i have created and just show it and so inside the actual redo and undo buttons i have a thing basically another statement stating that if it can redo it will redo like it's pretty much the most simple thing ever like edit manager dot like redo that it's 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 it, there's not even yeah there's not even any parameters for that it's just redo and it's just a neat little thing that i just kind of um found this past few days and i was just kind of playing around with it and um I find that this is a pretty basic way to uh, see how it works in action. And again, yeah, this is pretty much it. Like it, I, the program pretty much just gives you two options, undo or redo the text that you have inputted into this um, undo manager. So basically if I, let's say, copy and paste a bunch of stuff, it's going to undo all of those characters. It's not gonna undo specific characters. So for now, that's pretty much it. If you learn something, leave a like or possibly favorite. Subscribing wouldn't hurt either. 
Um, if you have a question about this particular program that I wrote or just a basic programming question in general, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to read it. Um, whether or not I can answer it, I don't really know, I'll, but I'll try my best. If it is uh, like like a fantastic question um, that warrants a response video, um, I will create a response vid uh, video for that. I'm totally willing to do that. Um, and so pretty much for now, that's kind of it. Thank you for watching.